Hello everyone, this is going to be the first in a mini series of videos that me and John are going to put together while we're working from home and have a bit more time on our hands to explain some of the products and services we offer at P3 Tuning and also to answer some of those commonly asked questions. So today's video is very briefly going to go over the key differences between full custom ECU dyno flash and a bench flash or postal flash as we call it. And the easiest way and quickest way to explain this is to explain why, when we've been open for over four years, why we're only just offering the Postal Flash service now. And it's quite simple, really. We aim to achieve a very, very high standard of work. And if we take, for example, this ECU in my hand, this has come from a customer who has purchased from us a full titanium Akrapovich exhaust system and a K&N air filter. So a custom ECU flash, flash map from a 2019 R6 that is running a standard exhaust system and air filter would not even be close. It would be miles out. If anything, the bike would probably run worse. So we've spent the last four years building a database of maps for all makes and models of bikes that we do, but also for all combinations of exhaust and air filters. So from standard to different end can but with the cat in place to full race systems you name it we have now got a, a map to suit once we had that database of maps it was down to us to test the accuracy so again we've had several r6s come in with the same layout and we've put them maps on the bike run them on the dyno and check that they are accurate enough to meet our high standards so that also explains the next big question about the differences between the two which is the price and it boils down to, man, I was 395 for a full custom ECU map. Factors in the amount of hours spent on the dyno, which is roughly around 8 to 10 hours. Whereas an ECU flash is only an hour's work, plus all the postage costs and the packaging costs. Hopefully, in the two-minute nutshell, that explains the brief points and differences between the two. If you require any more information, me and John are always happy to go into greater detail. Just drop us a comment in the box below or if you've got any other questions you have about anything else, please put them in the comments below or a suggestion about our next video. It all helps us. Hopefully you've got a bit of a better understanding now. Hopefully I kept it as simple as possible and as quick as possible for you guys. And hopefully you can understand my terrible accent. I hope everyone's staying safe and well and I hope to see you all down at the unit soon. Take care.